Hello everyone, my name is Alexey, and today I want to tell you about CSS media queries. Responsive design is one of the most important parts of CSS in the modern web, but it's often overlooked. In this video I will cover CSS media queries which are easiest and most common ways to create a mobile responsive web application. Moreover, we will get acquainted with styles for printing and way to apply specific styles depending on device orientation. I am sure it will be extremely useful and you will write styles for your applications much better. Please like and let's get started. Let's start with basic preparation for this video. So I've created default HTML page, I've added H1 main car Rolls Royce and list of other cars Subaru, Ford and Porsche. Also I've included here style CSS, it's my styles. Uh, and also I've opened my dev tools. I have here fully resizable window. I can change width of my window. I can change height of my window to simulate change of the viewport. And uh, as I mentioned before, we will explore today media queries. So let's start. Okay, you have to use media queries to deal with mobile responsiveness. Let's define our media query. And first, let's talk about the definition of device you are dealing with. You can mention here screen. It means the styles will be applied to screen, mobile, tablet or desktop. You can mention here speech. So styles will be for screen readers or text-to-speech devices for people with disabilities. And you can mention here print. So these styles will be applied to your printed HTML page. So if you will click print here, here you will see your uh, styles and on your paper also. Cool, but most time you will use all with your media queries. So let's write all. Uh, when you are writing all, it means that uh, these styles will be applied to all devices. Okay, you will mention device type, then you must write and to concatenate it with media query selector and media query selector will be in parentheses. And the most common type of media query selector is width. Let's talk about it. Amazing, let's start with mean width. Let me write my media query. So I will apply these styles to all devices and mean width, uh, let it be 400 pixels. And in curly braces, we have to write our styles, which will be applied when the width of our report will be greater than 400 pixels. It will be just normal CSS code. Let me change the color of main car to orange. So main car and color will be orange. Cool. So when our viewport will be minimum 400 pixels, this code will be executed and corresponding styles will be applied. So let me expand the page. Now we have widths less than 400 pixels. And when we will reach 400 pixels, our Rolls Royce become orange. So these styles have applied to my page. The opposite logic with max widths. Let me change the code. Let me uh, change min width uh, media query selector to max width. And here we will have opposite logic. If our viewport will be less than 400 pixels, styles will be applied. So now we have default styles because uh, our page wider than 400 pixels. But if I will collapse my viewport, I will have uh, orange Rolls Royce when I will have viewport less than 400 pixels. Cool. And I need to mention that we can remove our all. So just write media query selector. Because if we will write only media query selector, it will be applied implicitly to all available devices by default. Then let's talk about print specific styles. So we can write our media query. I will define print device. And these styles will be print specific. Yes, for example, you have page with a specific report about car, table of students marks if it's an educational application. And this type of page usually can be printed. It will be good if you will consider it developing your application. For example, it would be good to make black text for printing. I will write here body and I will specify here color black. And if we will try to print our page, so let me click print here, we will have black text. And in some cases, it will be better for printing. So we will have here preview with black text. And if we will print it on paper, on paper, it will be black. But in our page in web, we will have our initial styles, which I have defined above. 
Here I need to say that you should remember about specificity and CSS execution in browser. And media queries just work like other selectors in our CSS. Let me write basic media query and I will use mean width here. So let me write media. Here I will write mean width. Let be 400 pixels. Cool. And when my screen will be wider than 400 pixels, I will write body. So I will change uh, the color of my body to orange. So color orange. Amazing. Let's make sure it works. So we can resize it. And as we can see, it works. But if I will put body styles with color below my initial body styles below my media query. Uh, now, no matter which size of the viewport I will have, so I can make it wider or collapse it. So last style will be applied. That's because browser reads styles from top to bottom. Yes, and applies the last one if selectors have the same specificity. So firstly, you must define your base styles and below them media query related to your base styles. So for example, you will have body here and then you will write media query related to your body. It's just rule you have to remember and all will work as expected. Now let's talk about orientation media query selector. So let me write media and here I can have orientation. Yes, here basically we can have two values portrait and landscape. Cool. So landscape mode considered active when the width of the viewport greater than height. While if the height is greater than the width, it is portrait mode. Let's have a couple of experiments. So let's move to the code. And for example, in landscape mode, I want to have Coral WRX Subaru and Gray Ford. So I will write other cars. Then I will write Lee because it's our list item. Here I will get first list item. It will be Subaru. So it will be NTH child one. It will be light coral. Cool. And my Ford. So NTH child two will be gray. So color gray. Amazing. And now we are in landscape mode. So if we will increase our height and height will be greater than width, we will be in portrait mode. But if we will collapse our height and expand our width, we will be in our landscape mode. So we will have Coral Subaru and Gray Ford. Moreover, we can combine our media query selectors. And for example, in portrait mode, I want to have black Rolls Royce and orange Subaru. So let me write media. So media orientation portrait. And here I can write just main car color black. It's it will be specifically for portrait orientation and also other cars. Here I will have my first car. So Lee and I will write NTH child. So I will pick first and here I will paint it into orange color. Amazing. And when I will have my portrait orientation, my Rolls Royce will become black and Subaru will become orange. So also in dev tools, you can choose, for example, a specific phone. Let me choose um, iPhone 12 Pro. It's portrait orientation. And here I can switch portrait orientation to landscape. And in landscape mode on our iPhone, we will see uh, light coral Subaru, gray Ford in portrait orientation, we will see orange Subaru and black Rolls Royce specifically for this screen orientation. In this video, we got acquainted with media queries, learn why they are needed and also learn that they can be used to apply different styles for different viewports, for different devices, etc. I really hope you learned something new and will definitely use this knowledge in your projects. So please like, subscribe, stay tuned, please share your ideas about next videos. 
Bye.